YouTube, what's going on? Your boy Anthony from Hello Board Productions here. It's been a long time since I've uh, posted a video. I've had a lot of people asking me, you know, where have you gone? What are you doing with your life now that uh, you haven't posted a video in so long? Uh, I'm still playing paintball, still having a great time, but uh, I, I kind of bumped up into something a little more, uh, I don't know, grown up, I guess, maybe. Um, got my FID, started buying some, uh, some handguns, some rifles, some shotguns. Uh, reason for this video today is I actually, uh, I bought a Mosin, Mosin Nagant, uh, about a week or so ago. Uh, I picked up some ammo online, uh, bought a crate of 880 uh, 7.62 by 54R uh, Mosin rounds, uh, and they got shipped in yesterday. Uh, they're right there on the floor right now. Uh, I thought we'd do a little unboxing uh, so you guys get to see what it's like. Um, I also have a little bit of a history lesson for you if you're interested in the, uh, the history of this, uh, this round. It's a very powerful round. Uh, so it's got a it's got a pretty cool history. So I thought I'd uh, run it by you guys if uh, if that interested you uh, while we were doing the opening. Uh, so let's take a peek on down here. All right. So here is the crate uh, that was shipped to me just the other day. Uh, Aimsurplus.com sent this out to me in pretty quick time. Only took maybe uh, four days to get here. Um, if you look down here, we actually have my rifle. This is my uh, my Mosin Nagant. Standard issue for World War II for the Russian uh, Russian Army. And like I said, while we uh, while we do the unboxing, I'll do a quick little uh, little history. Uh, I can tell you a little bit about what some of these markings mean. Right, so the GoPro was not cooperating. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to do it with this camera. It's no big deal. Uh, first thing we're going to do is going to take a look at the crate. Uh, and I've already gone ahead and removed the metal band that went across the uh, case see what kind of attention they really put down on that. Uh, I had already tried to film this, but uh, the GoPro was not cooperating. Whatever. Uh, so let's take a look at the case. What you'll see is uh, the markings of 7.62. That'll tell you, obviously, the, uh, the round that this is chambered in. The count of the crate. It's an 880 count crate with uh, two 440 each spam cans. Uh, I believe this is the batch or lot number. Uh, when this ammo was made, and from what I can read, this is when the powder was uh, was produced. Not necessarily the cartridge, but the uh, the powder. Uh, the round may have been, uh, you know, a little bit later, uh, but probably not too much, I would imagine. Uh, well, oh, it's heavy. There you go. So while we're going through this, you're just going to see me. Uh, I'm just going to be unscrewing these screws right here. It's not really a whole lot to look at when you do that. So uh, let's give you that brief little history lesson. Uh, you're basically just going to be staring at the side of my head. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so the round was created in uh, 1891 uh, by the uh, by Tsarist Russia. It was uh, before, obviously before the Soviets took over. Uh, the round can be used in uh, still some uh, some other uh, other rifles, other machine guns. Uh, and since it is still a cartridge that is in production today, it is actually the longest produced cartridge in the world. This guy right here. There we go. First screw out. There we go. Uh, the United States actually contracted the Russians uh, to produce this round for the, uh, I believe it was the Winchester 1895 uh, shot, a 54R cartridge. Uh, 54R, by the way, does stand for rimmed, does not stand for Russian. Uh, it does, it has become lovingly known as the, uh, 762 Russian, uh, and you know, it's all well and good, but, uh, don't confuse that with the 762 Soviet, uh, which is actually used for your SKSs and your, uh, your AK-47s. It's a totally different round. I have some of that downstairs. Uh, it's not the same. <laughs> definitely, definitely not the same. Uh, this round, like I said, can be used in a couple other, you know, Russian guns. Uh, I know the Dragunov sniper rifles used uh, 54R. Uh, they have some machine guns, PKMs. They all use uh, 54R. The screw is being really stubborn. It's just a screw. <laughs> uh, the same, it was, uh, it's old. It's corrosive. Uh, it means it's not your, uh, your barrel's best friend. Uh, so when you do get ammo like this, you do have to make sure you clean your barrel out. Uh, after you use it. However, I didn't buy my rifle 
uh, as any sort of, you know, masterful piece of armament. Uh, I really bought it because I wanted to shoot this round. Uh, I wanted a nice little boom, and this round does have it. Uh, so I basically, I just went and I picked up one that looked like it was good shape internally. Uh, externally, it's not bad. Um, I, you know, I, I, I broke the gun down, I did a nice cleaning on it, uh, and I'm going to maintain it. But, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a corrosive ammo, so you do have to make sure that you keep your barrel clean when you, uh, when you shoot it. You can buy non-corrosive, but it's more expensive. Uh, pretty much by far, by far more expensive. You know, just, I just don't want it. <laughs> There we go. Almost done. Got uh, got all these taken out. I don't know why you can see that. Uh, as far as ballistics of this round, uh, it's a good round. It's not you know it's not the best in the world. Otherwise, everybody would be using it. Uh, Thirty oh six, more ballistically stable. You know. If I had to compare it to anything. Uh, I'd maybe compare it to like a 308 cartridge. But uh, still a fantastic round. It you know, worked for the Russians for so many years and it's still working for them, so they must have done something right. These are some stubborn screws, I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you uh, that. So the screws are out, so we're going to pop this bad boy open. And inside we have the can opener to uh, pop open the spam cans. Which we will do. Now we'll pull these rounds out today for us. And we open the flap, and here you have your two spam cans of 7.62 by 54 R Mosin rounds. Silver stripe on them again, so I am going to believe that that's how they marked what type of bullet this is. And uh, let's go ahead and pop one of these open. What I'm eventually going to do probably is, since these are going to be popped open and, you know, kind of pointed and all jagged all on these edges, I'm going to probably just go ahead and get, uh, you know, those blue, like, reloading, uh, you know, at the little place where you put your ammo that you reload. Um, and uh, I'll probably just go ahead and leave them in there. Uh, it's better than having to, you know, reach in here, because there's going to be paper packages in here with each uh, group, of of group of the rounds. So let's not, uh, let's not slice our fingers open every time, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and pull this out. Ugh. Put this guy back up. Right, these are going to be a little heavy. Actually, I'm probably just going to tip the thing over. There we go. So here you have one of your spam cans. Alright, so you basically want to get into the corner, and you'll see that this little piece right here will hook onto the side of the can, and you can then apply some leverage, and you'll be able to pop into the can. Just like this. Just like that, and just punch on in. And you just want to work your way down, little by little. Just like that, you can see we started the cut. And little by little, just work your way around, and eventually you'll have an open spam can. And that's what we're going to come back to. Alright, and after about five minutes of going crazy with this guy, you are left with an open spam can. Now let's go ahead and pop this open. Now remember, the last time this was open, it's pretty safe to say, was sometime around 1975. So this is uh, kind of like opening up a little bit of history here just by opening this up. You know, it's crazy to think that the last air that this saw was Russian air, you know, a bunch of years ago. It's kind of a, just a cool thing, you know? So let's get in here. And this is how they packaged up. And... What they would do is they would put these little shoelaces in here to, give it, to be able to get the first box out. That's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Finally reached our ammunition. 
straight from 1975, your 7.62 by 54R Mosin round. There she is. So there it is, guys. Hope you liked the video. Uh, suffice it to say, if you like it, please rate it, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to probably very soon be releasing uh, an independent YouTube channel uh, dedicated specifically to firearms since I am kind of getting into it. I may as well uh, put it out there for everybody to be bothered with. By um, I, uh, like I said, I hope you guys liked the video. And, uh, you know, subscribe up, man. I'm out.